So since Van Gogh really didn't have a studio that we can visit, right? That would probably be in the Yellow House, which doesn't exist. I would say this feels like his studio space, simply because the best works, in my opinion, he made were a while here in St. Remy. But what I was amazed and learned so much about was Starry Night. Since he did, I mean, we are standing, what, right in the exact area that he painted this, which I shouldn't geek out about it, but I kind of am. So one of the things I think is really fascinating that a lot of people don't know is that there were bars that were in his way from the view that he was trying to see. And one of the things that we were learning and I thought was so cool, he did paint a lot of the of what he was putting in the painting itself from this window, but he was adding things and moving things around, like kind of like a collage that he had the steeple on that church, which if you look out, there's no eglise, there's no church down there that looks like that. So he's borrowing ideas from like his time in London. So one of the things I think is fascinating though, is that all of the different stars that he painted in Starry Night are accurate. So that he must have been looking, observing that in real time and not just grabbing things from his imagination. But it's just crazy to think that such a profound painting, which from what I understand, he didn't think was that great, that he did it from a very minimal view with bars in the way, which is just wild that we can stand here and try to understand better what he was seeing, but also how he was using his imagination at the same time. Like, it's pretty incredible.